So hello and welcome group number one for June predictions. So I started to do this for June because I just felt called to do um, the June predictions a little bit towards the end of May instead of in the middle, which is what I usually do. But that's because there was so many other videos going on, you guys, and things that I wanted to do. So I just wanted to at least do the June predictions just to kind of see what is going on for you in June. So if you are choosing group number one, what we're going to do is we are going to do kind of a shorter read. A um, couple different things. I'm going to start with the Oracle cards, and then we're going to kind of do this as a past, present, and future situation. So we're looking at the past. What did you have to learn from in the previous months for the past? We're looking at the present right now. And then for the prediction for June, the third um, Oracle cards will be about the future. The other thing that I'm doing is I have already shuffled the Animal Tarot. So we're going to use some of that. I've pre-shuffled it, but I'm going to start dealing it during the card reading a lot of you guys wanted to see that instead of just me doing the pre-shuffling which is fine um we, i can definitely do that and i'm going to do that for this video so without further ado um we're going to try and look at some of these things for group number one for june predictions okay so we have in the past so the card of seduction passion and romance awaits so perhaps these past few months you have been thinking of one of two things, group number one, for the June month. You've been either thinking about a actual new romance or friendship coming into your life, or you have been dealing with kind of the situation with romance or with love in the past few months. You have felt very, what I'm gathering from spirit group number one for the June prediction is that you've been feeling very, very good about yourself. You've been feeling beautiful you've been feeling you know fulfilled in other areas the problem is is that you're at a point now where you are wondering okay where is this going to take me where am I moving forward why am I feeling as if there's some type of stagnation I'm getting that from group number one and I think that that's something that you guys are looking into or trying to change so if you had a new romance in the past previous months and we can get through this with the tarot group number one if you've had that kind of new romance or new situation um you can definitely look at that as being where you are right now or in the past. So if those type of feelings of the new romance have been good for you, that's wonderful. If you kind of feel more alluring, more seductive, more in a state where you're euphoric, that's in the past. Now you're looking to see what that future is going to hold for you in this new love. Now the other thing is, is that in the past, group number one, if you did choose this for the June predictions. The thing is, is that you guys have also been working up to this point because you have been looking for a relationship or a new romance before. So we're going to kind of see also too with that situation of where that's going to take us in the present and future um, for the June predictions. Okay, so we clearly have the sun here. So the sun is is a very, very fortunate um, tarot card. It's a very, very fortunate card to have. It literally means what it means. I mean, you have the olive branch, which is of good fortune, um, holiness, cycle of our world. So this means good fortune. You can achieve your goals and dreams. The sun is shining. So what this tells me is a couple different things. These past few months also, group number one, you guys have really, really been feeling yourselves. You've been happy. Happy. you've had good fortune, you've had good luck. You are all a very optimistic group. You are looking forward towards the future. You are literally, when, when it says the sun is shining, you are shining from within outward. That is why you have this whole seduction or seductive nature about you is because you are feeling good on the inside. This has been happening for the past few months and you have been seeing that there is hope. There is 
goodness. There is good fortune in the future. So this whole romantic pursuit that's been happening and this passion that you've been feeling, it's clearly showing me, group number one, that this is a very, very positive situation. This is a very positive romantic relationship, positive relationship with yourself, if you're feeling more love towards yourself. So this is all positive. It's not anything that's negative or anything that I'm gathering. It is very much positive. So that is currently what is in the past. You have had that kind of seductive behavior. You're very, very happy. You're very alluring to everyone else. So moving forward, you may wonder if this is going to continue or not, if you're going to feel something more in the month of June that's going to set this kind of apart or set it moving forward. So now... The present. So we have strength and wisdom with the dragon. A very, very um, auspicious card to have for the Madame and Dora um, Oracle because of the fact that it just symbolizes not only strength and wisdom, but the ability to evolve, the ability to um, have that kind of power. I mean, a dragon is very, very powerful in and of itself. It's a very mystical creature. So coming out of the, the sun and the light and the new romance, the type of seductive behavior group number one that you guys have been experiencing, you are gaining through this, this, this relationship, this love. I'm I'm getting this from spirit, spirit so much. You have been really happy with who you are and what you are. You are not apologizing for that. You are not stating that you want to be anything different other than what you are. You are gaining the strength and wisdom to know with this present and with the dragon spirit that you are learning of what you want and what you don't want in relationships and what you're looking for. June is kind of giving you this uplifting feeling, group number one, because you are no longer tied down to the old ways of things. Things are opening up. Things are becoming so real for you and so inspiring for you that you're having this strength and this wisdom to move forward in the present. You're feeling much stronger than you did previously, and you're feeling at least at ease. With this whole thing, I can also see, group number one, that this was a bit of a whirlwind wind for you. Um, if you were looking for a new ra romance, excuse me, a new passion, if you were waiting for that, um, it was a whirlwind for you. So you really didn't have any time to think. That whole romantic passion was just feeling. Now you're in the present moment and you are thinking of the future long term. You could be thinking of how does this person fit into your life, partnership, what have you. You can really, really be thinking about that strongly, but you have the strength and the wisdom to endure the situation or to ask that question to spirit. Okay, so we have the tourist. So the hangman is very, this is very appropriate because the hangman is basically the new beginning, but it is a new beginning in the most unsurest of ways, which is no surprise here because you're trying to gain more information about the situation. So we have wisdom and purpose. We also had here with the sun, good fortune. So we have change through breaking old patterns. Think things through carefully the tourist. So we can kind of look at this as another way. Again, okay, so this was a whole whirlwind. You could have had a whirlwind romance. You could have liked someone um, strongly. And then, and I have to say, because spirit is speaking to me, group number one, and I mean no disrespect by this, you could have literally felt other passions besides just mental and emotional. You could have literally become very physical with this person very, very quickly. Now you're at a point where you are searching for... Um, wisdom, a new beginning, the reason why you're feeling the way that you're feeling. We can also think of the tourist as someone who is moving around from place to place, gaining new experiences, branching themselves out a little bit than just what the whirlwind romance is. Now you're thinking about how this is going to fit long term. And you can be thinking about that now, but also June is going to really bring 
that strength and that wisdom to you, group number one. And I have a strong feeling this has to do with a new relationship. If you are single, group number one, this is going to show you what is the difference between a one-night stand, in other words, and a long-term committed relationship. You are a very alluring person. You are probably a very beautiful person, um, handsome person, whatever you want to say. You have um, a very attractive look to you or an attractive personality, something to that nature. Now that you've attracted that, you are also looking for that new beginning and how to move forward and give yourself the wisdom and the strength that you need to do so with the tourist. So that is happening currently right now in the present and you are gaining more information than what you had before and you're going to be breaking the old patterns. Um, and this, this whole thing about this new ro romance or this love group number one it's going to bring in more joy more fulfillment more things to you than maybe even you realize right now so that's why you are currently seeking that wisdom and that appreciation because you're trying to learn new things about this so that's very very important Time will tell, group number one. <laughs> um, so the hourglass. So we have time is of the essence, which I'm not surprised by this. So in other words, group number one, with the June prediction, what this is saying is that if you are undergoing a new romance, a new love, a new chapter in your life when it comes to passion and romance, the thing is you can look for all the wisdom in the world. You can look for all of the, the how do I say this, answers or things that you need to know or try to figure out what's going on. But in this spirit really wants you to understand that in the future, in the June month, you should be focusing on time. Only time is going to tell if you either one can stay with the specific person two if you are single, you are able to find that person who does fit you. I'm strongly sensing that if you are a single person and you chose group number one, that is just a clear indication that the June prediction means that a new friendship, a new love, a new relationship is coming into play and you are going to be more alluring than you've ever been because you've been working up to that in the past to this point. But if you are currently in a relationship that kind of was a whirlwind, only time is going to tell if that is going to work out successfully or not. So it's telling you time is of the essence. The the other thing I'm sensing from spirit group number one for June predictions is patience. You need, see, I told you, spirit is just speaking to us. Um, you need patience. You need patience not only with yourself, but with this other person. Things are not as they can seem right now in the present because you are trying to gain information to see if this is going to work out or not. I'm gaining that from spirit that you really are trying to seek other avenues, get to know this person, get to know their situation, and that only time is going to tell if you really do stick with this person or want to grow with this person. So we have the flute. So this is the Hierophant, which is a clear indication to me that this is spiritually related. This connection or what you are becoming, group number one, in June is a spiritual path. It's karmic. It's connection to spirit, understanding, and education, ritual, and celebration. Life is magical. So this is divinity and gentility. This is something that is going on. This relationship, this love, something that is happening. This is a karmic situation, group number one. You are being made to wait on something or to see if this relationship is going to work out for the sheer fact that it is karmic. It's something that is supposed to be happening. And again, with that, it is something that is otherworldly that you are trying to work through. So if this kind of did throw you for a loop in the past meeting this person or the significant other, it really has changed you. Now, if you are single group number one, this has a lot to do with you moving forward in a more positive, strong light, a more vibrant light than what you've had in the past. And time is going to tell if you are going to have a new romance, I'm strongly sensing from spirit that that is the case, but we will pull some cards here. 
So we have the Prince of Autumn, which this is a clear indication of the Knight of Pentacles. So we have trustworthy, dedicated, protective, and funny. So this could be the characteristics. Even you can be either male or female coming to group number one. And this could be the characteristics of the person that kind of took you for that whirlwind. Um, this could also be yourself. So this person is very much um, of either the earth sign. So we can say, um, how do I say, uh, Virgo, Taurus, um, Capricorn, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo for the earth signs. So this is all about the seahorse. It is important to make a detailed plan before starting any new endeavor. Once you have the plan in place, then you can take immediate action and get as accomplished as possible. So let's talk about this for a minute. The very fact that the Prince of Autumn is coming up, this could be the person that you did meet along the way. This could be the person who really kind of set this whole thing off in motion. This can also be stating if you are single that you need to have a plan of attack. You need to kind of have this ability to plan out what is going to happen or what you want out of a relationship. And I have a sense that if you are single, you may be doing a lot of planning either right now or in the future or things like that. But you are going to be at your peak of beauty, of, of allurement, whatever the situation is, meaning that, listen, you can probably catch a fish if you've ever heard of that saying. But basically, this is saying that you need to have a plan in place. So the whole, what this tells me is that passion is passion, romance is romance, but at the end of the day, a one night stand, um, something that is going to be fleeting, something that is not going to be healthy, is not going to fit in your situation because because it's not going to fit with that inner wisdom that you have. I'm sensing also to group number one that in June, you're going to really be over all of that. You want something where you can feel that lightness, you can feel that inner energy and power, but you don't want anything negative associated with that, which I wouldn't blame you for that. Okay, so we have the Princess of Autumn, which is clear indication of... We have a lot of pentacle energy here. We have a wonderful opportunity related to your work or education, such as a promotion or scholarship is coming your way. Seize this chance to learn something new, exciting, or start a more rewarding and uplifting career. Okay, so you guys are being bad. That's good. Bad is good. <laughs> so you're going to be cheerful, reliable, intelligent, and mischievous. Now, this is interesting because when I pull this, this is clearly an indication not only of the person that you have met, but the person of who you are. So the Princess of Autumn is also considered... Um, how would we say this? The Queen of Pentacles. So in other words, if this comes up, okay, so a couple different things are really indicating to me. One, that you're having a new romance. Two, that you are going to be offered. This could also kind of be the issue. I'm going to pull one last tarot card to see. But this could be a situation where you have just met this person. Now, this can happen at any time in the past. Now what is happening is you are meeting this person, you are formulating a plan as to how this is going to work long term. Now what's happening with this is that you are receiving an opportunity to either go learn, to uh, have a new career, have a new situation. You have received that opportunity. Now what's happening is we come to the present. So we have the strength and wisdom. We have the tourist, which clearly shows that you are thinking things through carefully. You are moving on to a different space. So this is really key here, you guys, because even though you have this love, you have this passion, you have this allurement, you guys 
guys know what it takes to kind of just flash out there, let your spirit be shown. You know, you have very much beauty all around you, but the thing is, is that you are trying to make that tangible. You are trying to start your own career and your own future. And in June, you're really going to be thinking group number one about how does this wisdom carry over? Where am I going to be going in life, either with this new relationship, with my career? How is this going to change things for me? Because you are getting this offer and this has happened clearly in the past. So we have the King of Spring. So now's your moment to step up to a leadership role. Don't back away from the spotlight as your plans will be successful so long as you stay focused upon the big picture. So this is a clear indication to me that you guys are moving forward with this, that you can't look back. You have to kind of move in with the future of what is happening. You have this plan. You've been offered something. This love that is going on here, group number one, will either transform with you or not. And we're going to get to the middle situation here. So the five of winter. So we have um, the collie dog. Your current path isn't leading you. to See, I knew this was going to happen too. Your current path isn't leading you toward the happiest possible outcome. So why not change it? Always maintain integrity and compassion, but be alert to the hidden agenda of others. Okay. So this is a perfect example. You are feeling, and I have to be honest, group number one with seeing this, you are feeling, and spirit is letting me know, that you are feeling in a way that you are only being looked at in one way, which is very, very irritating to you at this point. That is why you are trying to gain wisdom. You are trying to move forward in your own life because you have been looked at in the past as one way. You have been looked at as that person and who you are very loving, you transmit love, you give love, you give love freely, group number one. But the problem is, is people often use that against you. They use your body, they manipulate, they use your um, physical being, they use your heart space, everything. And I think that moving on, if you have this new relationship, you are trying to figure out where is this wisdom going to take me? Where am I going to go with this? because you are feeling that you can't um you can't really really follow the path that you've been following because you need change. You need that change in order to grow as a person. Now, I will tell you this. If you are single, you are learning to change things about yourself and to be okay with yourself, group number one, because time is going to tell if that is going to work for you. But you are starting to realize in this present moment how much people are manipulative, how much you don't want to be around something like that. You are just really, really sensing that in the strongest of the strong um, with the situation of what you're going through. So we have the four of winter here. So thoroughly think, again, we got the spirits just speaking to us, thoroughly think things through before making a decision, much like we had with the Prince of Autumn there. Continuing to overanalyze isn't going to get you any closer to a resolution, but meditation and prayer will bring you the answers you seek. I cannot stress this enough, group number one. If you guys aren't meditating or praying, now would be the time to do this. The only only reason why I say that is because I feel like group number one, you guys in the present moment right now, and you might want to focus on this in June, you are looking for an outward validation, an outward validation that something is going to happen for you, be it a career, be it romance. You can even be finding this with your new romantic partner. You are looking for validation. The problem is, is that you're not going to find validation from the outside group number one in the present moment is showing you this. You have to go within your spirit within your soul to find that validation that you are on the correct path. You are overanalyzing a lot of things. You are very, very much um, in that anxious moment. And the thing is, is that you have to ask spirit, okay, what do I need to work on? How, how can I get the answers to what I seek? How can I move forward with this? How can I think it through? And when you meditate on this and you pray on this group, number one, you will become clearer. You will 
will seek that strength and that wisdom and you will become more full. So if you need to continue on with the specific romantic relationship, great. If you need to continue on with a specific career path, great. If you need to stop a romance or something that is a new relationship, okay, that is something that needs to change. If you need to change career paths, move, do something differently after all of this has happened, then and that is something else that can be explored. The bottom line with this Four of Winter card is that the only person who can know that once you do meditate and pray is yourself. You can then find that answer. And again, that is verified by the tourist as well that you are seeking those answers. So we have the three of winter. So sadness is a part of life, but you don't have to endure it alone. You may need a little time to heal, but once you work your way through the emotions, you'll be stronger than you were before. And this is a clear indication to you guys that you may decide, you may very, very well decide that you are going to go through a breakup. You are going to go through a disconnect. You are going to go through a very sad situation situation. Either you will find that in that wisdom, you need to leave this new relationship that kind of rocked your world for a little while. You may find that you need to leave the career path that you're on, or you may find that you need to get yourself together before you can be in a new relationship. Especially if you are single, you need to take the time to yourself and to move forward with your decision. And I think that that's going to become prevalent in June of what what is going to happen and understanding with the flute that you have to connect to spirit, but also to, to understand that just because you're going through sadness, group number one, that life can be magical. Things can be very, very unexpected because just like how you found this love or found this question, this spark, this sun, this glory in your mind, you can also find that again, but what spirit really wants you to align with instead of, so for example, um, group number one, what you were thinking in the beginning may not be the case now. It might be something different, but the thing is, is if you ask spirit to put you on that path, they will put you on the correct path. So the path that you thought of before is not going to be the path that you realize in the future. And I think that the June prediction is letting you know that, that you can take another path and feel comfortable in doing so and feel secure that spirit has your back when you do take that other path. So we have the Ace of Winter, which is the panda. So implementation of your brilliant new... See, what was I telling you guys? Brilliant new idea may get off to a rocky start, which we can see this coming through with the sadness. But keep going. The challenges will help you refine your plan and reshape your goals into something even better. So you guys, we have a lot of plans going on here. A lot of things that are coming into fruition for you guys in the month of June. It is telling you, or Spirit is telling you to stick with with it. Stick with the possibility that even though these plans that you had, like I told you guys before, the past plans did not work out, you can have a bright and promising future if you just retweak the plan a little bit. And you might be doing this in June, you might be retweaking things and kind of moving forward with that, knowing that you do have a solid plan at this time. And this could be for romance or career. Um, you know, if you thought about leaving the partner that kind of sent you into this world when romance, you can then kind of look at, okay, well, what did I like about it? What didn't I like about it? And then move forward with a different plan for if you do plan to meet someone new. If you are single, you can start looking at, okay, well, what does fulfill me? What can fulfill me without having a partner there? What am I looking for in a partner? So just again, retweaking your plans. We have the two of winter. So this is procrastination and worrying what others will think is blocking you from making a decision. If you're torn between your own desires and someone else's, follow your inner guidance. Couldn't be more true. So if you do decide, group number one, to um, leave to 
um, how do I say this, to leave the relationship, to break up with this person, to move forward. If you decide to make a different decision, if you are single, if you wanted to move careers or move out of state or think of something else to do in the month of June that would give you fulfillment, do not worry about what other people think when you try to tell them this, when you try to do this. You have to make your own decisions. You have to be solid enough in spirit to speak on that and to make your own decisions as well and be happy with the outcome. The thing is when time is of the essence with this, it may take you some time to retweak your plans, get a different plan, move on. But it, the, the important thing is, is that you have to be solid within yourselves, group number one. You have to know what is important to you and act on that. Your own time and your own situation will be dealt with accordingly. You just have to give that to spirit and move forward. And again, you become the princess of summer, which is sensitive, kind, open-hearted, and experienced. So you are learning something new, group number one. You can expect to kindle a new romantic... Re See, listen, you're, you're going to be on it, group number one. You're going to be going to being sedu seductive, beautiful... Um, your old true self. You're going to have a new romantic relationship or close platonic friendship. You may suddenly receive an emotional message from someone or be invited to a social event. And bam, you're there. You're there with a new opportunity. You're starting something new. This could be a new relationship coming in. This could be something else different from this whirlwind romance that you had in the past. So again, time will tell group number one what the situation is going to be and how you're going to move forward. But in the end, you are going to have a very successful June, be it in a career, be it in a romantic relationship. You just have a few roadblocks to get through on the way before you can become this, which is a very, very open-hearted and loving person. So just walk with spirit and time will tell for June. So group number one, I really hope that this did help you. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel and comment down below if anything. Liking and subscribing to the channel does help me to continue with the pick a card readings or knowing what is more important for people to watch. So please do that. If you have not seen the Destiny pick a card or pick a door card reading, um, please do check that out on the channel. Um, if you wanted to learn more about your destiny or future, um, please go there and check out that video. And I hope to um, talk to you all soon in the next video.